Seattle Makers is a makerspace where we share tools and we share ideas and we teach everybody the skills and give them the tools they need to make any idea, whether it's a hobby or a new business or just a curiosity. We're working on a Da Vinci lock. But when we first came here, we tried some other projects first, so yeah, now I think we're ready. Jeremy and I started the Makerspace uh, two years ago, September of 2017. And I was brought on initially because he needed a website and a bunch of back-end support so he could focus on the making side of things and that we could automate as many things as possible to make it an easier business to run. You can become a member, you pay a monthly rate, and you get access to over $50,000 worth of tools and the expertise to use them. The red light is just like a pointer. We have sewing machines, laser cutters, 3D printers, we have a whole wood shop full of woodworking tools, we have an electronics lab, all the hand tools you could need, and we're constantly adding new tools. We have certifications on the 3D printer, the laser cutter, and the CNC mill so that you know how to use them and how to use them safely. The more you can get on the bit, the more stable it's going to be. I started coming to the Seattle Makers about a month ago. I took a membership class and now I am laser certified um, and I've been here for about a month. My project, the wrapping project, um, is a functional origami containers. So they start out 2D and then you can fold them and create these wrappers. And they're all made out of sustainable, eco-conscious materials. And this little guy here is used as a planter, so it kind of forms into something like this. I started coming to Seattle Makers, one for the tools, and I stayed for the community. And so I'm hoping to take many more maker classes and get certified on these awesome tools that I want to use. This is a great place for entrepreneurship. You can take an idea, model it, turn it into a tangible object, and try it out. This is our first prototype of a light installation that eventually will become much larger. Our goal is to pursue stage design. Once we figure out all the construction elements, we're uh, going to build a better one. Acrylic will be cool, so it can, um, light can bounce out of it, or it can be more reflective. Tonight we have a team doing our latest team building event, which is creating customized journals. We're going to teach them a little bit of how to design for vector software. The easiest way to do that is have an all black and white image and turn it into an image that they can etch on the front of their journal. Teams anywhere from five to 200 can come together and make anything from laser etched coffee mugs to hand painted wood skylines of Seattle. When I first walked into a makerspace, I was blown away at what you could do. So our mission is to make the kind of tools here accessible to as many people as possible and give them everything they need from the expertise to the coaching along the way to make anything they want. We also see a lot of these spaces open and closed, so we want to make a model that other maker spaces can replicate so that we can see spaces like these in neighborhoods all across the city and the country. One of the things we value tremendously here is learning by doing, and as adults we forget what that's like. We try something, we fail, we give up. We celebrate successes and failures equally. If somebody has a spectacular success, we ring a bell. Same thing if somebody fails. And if you have a spectacular failure, we'll cheer for that too. Yeah, this is pretty much my dream job. And my favorite part is when people learn something new and, and this whole world opens up of what they can do. It's fun watching people realize that they're way more creative than they thought they were. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.